Okay, so after about an hour's worth of uh, deconstructing the Makita cells, here we have 150 individual 18650 cells. 150 of them. Obviously there's going to be some that are no good, you can see some of the rust the corrosion where they've been left out in the rain but the next step is we uh, pick out all the best looking ones to begin with like so ones that don't have any corrosion on them no rust we simply use magnets like so one top, one bottom With the lab power supply set up for 3.8 with the current limiter on, fairly low. And it appears that there's 4.2 in that battery. So what I'm going to do is go through and find all the cells that are charged, or all the best ones first, charge them up to 4.2 and set them in a pile. After they've been charged, attach for a little while, check the voltages, if the voltage is still above 3.9 or around 3.9, they will go onto the discharger. Same thing again, a little battery between two magnets on this uh, B6 copy discharger as you can see lithium ion 1S so just one cell it's discharging at 1 amp current voltage is 3.660 volts current amount of milliamp hours that's discharged out of is 425 lapse time 25 minutes and DSC is for discharging you can actually feel that get a little bit warm as it's discharging the battery so all the good ones that hold voltage will get charged off the lab power supply first. Then they'll get discharged and their milliamp hours uh, will be written on them. They'll be discharged from uh, their 4.2 or wherever they stopped uh, self-discharging at down to 3 volts which is considered empty for a uh, lithium-ion battery. But yeah, so we've got 150 of them to play with interesting to see yeah, how many we get that are worth keeping obviously a lot of them are going to go back to be recycled but uh, these were already all discarded they were in the uh, recycle pile at the uh, local tip and uh, on top of these 150 I had four complete working cells um, that my father's now using in his Makita gear that he has but yeah, they, they, they had nothing wrong with them. So whether they weren't testing them or what, not really sure. But we will uh, get all these charged and tested and discharged down to uh, 3 volts with uh, capacity written on them and then uh, sort them out to make some packs. Not sure whether I'm going to make another 12 volt pack for uh, things like this Milwaukee 12 volt series rattle gun make a extended runtime pack for that or whether I'll go and make another 18 volt pack not sure yet I'll just see how many cells I end up with first um, might make uh, a few 18 volt packs to uh, start on the um, eventual pack that will be used on the four wheel motorbike uh, that's all for tonight I'm going to uh, discharge and uh, write capacities Give you an update soon.